So before I washed it out, I had time to take a quick snap, and that's the snap you see behind Shut me. the fuck up. God. Yes, so there disgusting. it is. What? She There's stopped. The she, took a picture. Picture. she took a picture. She took a picture. You are. There it is. <laughs> Hell yeah, boss. <laughs> Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good morning. And welcome to episode 1047 of Hard Factor. It is Tuesday, September 27th, 2022. Thank you for cheating on the news with us today. I've got a ton of of international news and more in the cup of coffee in the big time. It's almost like an international moment or something like that. Almost. <laughs> almost. Nothing in front of it, though. Just nothing <laughs> and then right into international moment. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, almost like that. And then Mark's got a uh, family that may be a little too devoted to each other on deck. Yeah. If you think your family's a little weird, wait till you hear this story. Hmm. Oh, nice. So it's like one of those things will make you feel better about yourself, like watching intervention. Maybe if you think like, yeah, exactly. If you think like, uh, like man, it could be uh, worse. Not, my family's too loving, which is not something bad, obviously. Uh, but you're like, if you're annoyed by how often, like, you know, you have to check in type thing. Listen to this story. Hmm. I was watching an intervention last night to make nice. myself feel better about myself. That's awesome. Did it make you feel good? Were you like, I was never this bad. Exactly, Mark. That's exactly <laughs> what I was like. I could I could probably start drinking again. I was never this bad. Yeah, I was never this bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> These people are really fucked up. <laughs> uh, Changed up awesome. the glasses. Check it out. Now we got all three different looks going on. I like those oh, glasses. Nice. I Look like at that. Both for, your for glasses. The, for yeah, the yeah. glasses haters out there. Um, uh, YouTube.com slash Hard Factor News. Or you can watch on Spotify now, too. And then uh, last story of the day. Wes has some butt stuff in the caboose. That makes sure sense. Sure do. I sure <laughs> do, Will. Mm. Uh, some people. It's for some people. Some people. Wait, it's not for them, but it's for some minute. people. Wes usually like has a picture related to a story, and there's a guy behind Wes that has like, <laughs> brown smears on his face. That's a woman, Mark. Oh, what? That's, That's gross. Oh no, <laughs> it's not. It's not. This ain't. This ain't for your for you know the the breakfast. Time, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, this ain't no TVPG. You yeah. know, this ain't no, no butt stuff for the faint of heart. Ain't no here. breakfast time <laughs> tale. <laughs> <laughs> <Clearly>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks eat, like she was eating. Eat uh, your food uh, before Wes's story if you yes. are eating right now. Also, speaking of butt stuff in the caboose, the one chip challenge update, fellas. I realized foolishly I didn't uh, update the audience on how that went afterwards on Monday's show. But butt stuff, right? Yeah. So uh, here's how it went. You saw what happened when I ate the chip. That was like 15 minutes of pretty intense heat heat pain from like the mm -hmm. capsaicin or whatever in the chip, and then. At 3.45 a.m., approximately 10 hours right after eating the chip, uh, one extremely spicy poop, and that was it. So I think you could probably say, you know, per chip, you're going to expect that. If you were to eat like 10 chips, it probably would have been like three really. Oh, right. No, no, exactly. Right. In fact, like the ghost wing challenge I did because it was so much more volume. Yeah. Way worse afterwards. You got so, it all out in that one poop because it was just the one chip. Exactly. One chip yeah. makes it not so bad on yeah. the aftershocks. Every yeah. time I see a homeless person now after watching you do the one chip challenge, I think to myself, God, it'd be funny if I tricked them with a one chip challenge. Just well, gave him, gave him one of those chips. Or if you like, it's kind of like bum fights. If you offered that, you, you handed him a twenty dollar bill right. and the one chip, and said uh, the twenty is yours if you eat this on camera. I think it'd be funnier to see, like, mm. for me to hand it to him out the window and then have someone across the street. I've had this idea before. I've talked about it, and then have them eat it and then and then catch the reaction once it starts to get hot. Like a surprise? Eating? Yeah, like, like they a didn't surprise. Know. Yeah, of course they didn't know. Yeah. That's yeah, fucked you, up. Are you going to pay him? Are you going to come back around and give them money afterwards? <laughs> sure. Sure, Mark. If, that, if that'll make it fine in your eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think 20 bucks per trick. <laughs> 20 bucks is fine. Yeah. I would gladly pay 20 bucks to see that. That's amazing. That's awesome. Have him yeah. scamper off of his median. I would yeah. watch that show <laughs> probably. He's, look, he's I trying mean, to look at the bag. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I like heat challenges. Just so I would probably be into it. All uh, right. Um, trivia the, this Thursday. 
and you give them a drink. You give them a you give them a soda, but it's like it's like a spicy soda or something. You give them like a yeah. fucked up drink too. A jalapeno soda. Yeah. <laughs> Here, wash it down with yeah. this, buddy. Yeah, this will help. <laughs> kill you, strangle you. Uh, uh, speaking of laughs and good times, trivia this Thursday night, September 29th, 8 30 p.m. Eastern. Send in the car, patreon.com slash hard factor to join us for that. It's always a good time. Hell, uh, yes, it is. I'm excited. Anything else, fellas? No, I don't think so. Yeah, nothing else. So. Okay. All right. Well, uh, you well, want to do the news? But what's could, up, Wes? I, I was going to tell you guys. Uh, so th- hmm. uh, the reason I was, you know, I, I had a busy day. I had to meet some uh, some famous. Uh, I, don't, I guess he's famous. Some secretive guy who's proposing to his girlfriend, and I'm capturing it like through like like ninja style, sniper style. He doesn't want her to know that I'm even there. Oh. Photos. So I had to meet up with this guy today. And he's, I'm like, what, you know, what do you do? And he's like, oh, I'm in California. I do acting. And I'm like, well, would I know you from something? And the, this is what, listen to what this guy says. Really nice mm-hmm. guy. But he goes, well, if you didn't recognize me, then you probably wouldn't know. What does that even mean? Uh, yeah, Look that, at that. that. Yeah. And I was like, well, are you going to tell me what you're in? Porn. Like The answer yeah. is that's porn then. Uh, no, he no. Well, he's, he this guy's not a porn star. He can't tell you the show because it's so niche like yeah. you know like it's anime i was like uh, and then no. he just dropped he's it a manga like, voice actor you're not gonna tell me that <laughs> that's angry. a pompous response it Show, was. i want to see his pictures i'm uh one half of the pop culture yeah. i'll, sh- I'll see better yeah yeah, yeah. i send i signed an nda i can't share i don't give anyone. a fuck yeah okay don't uh, send me the picture <laughs> yeah don't the send picture. the picture don't send me the picture don't send of course i won't yeah <laughs> we're never gonna see that picture all right guys it's time for, that's terrible wes i'm sorry that he gave you that answer that's dick. the most pompous answer i've ever heard yeah. and a handshake like the queen too Oof. Yeah. limp Oof. okay let's let, let's move on to, to sunnier times i got some good news in the cup of coffee let's go <laughs> okay let's do the news yeah cup of coffee in the big time anything else wes about the guy was it evan peters from dahmer no I oh, wish okay. I would have recognized him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chump. Yeah. It, 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 he, uh, he, he tried to make you feel bad about something that he probably secretly kind he of did. I was like, about. you know, that means nothing. Right. That I don't recognize you. <laughs> right. <laughs> I literally said that to him. I was like, that's not saying much. Just name the show. You know? <laughs> yeah. Just tell me right. the fucking show you're on. I'll Remove check it, it out. Yeah. Right. It'll be cool for me. Yeah. He had to Dick make head. it. He had to make yeah. it combative like that. Uh, yeah. All right, fellas, let's talk about the top trending stories at the time of taping but first a fun fact from listener mike about the bible here it is you know there's a your mom joke in the bible it's in second kings 9 22 and it says when joram saw jehu he asked do you come in peace jehu and he answered what peace can there be as long as there's so much prostitution and witchcraft from your mom oh, oh shit. roasted <laughs> oh shit <laughs> is that really in the bible he says so. I didn't. I didn't verify. I don't think "mom" was a word back then. Mother. Yeah, it what would have been mother. Was? Mother. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't fact check uh, fun facts. He might have used said. her. You know, her name from your Dolores or yeah. whatever. You know, from, yeah. Yeah. From your Mary. Well, you can't <laughs> yeah. say that. Mm. Can't say Mary. Yeah. What do you mean? Can't talk shit about sacrilege. About Mary. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, apparently there's mom, Mary. Yeah. yo mama jokes in the Bible. That's pretty cool though. That's pretty yeah. funny. I like mm-hmm. it. I like people it. cracking jokes in the Old Testament or whatever. Okay. Uh, another fun fact from listener Brendan. Uh, this is on the history of whales. Uh, so, fellas, did you know that the whales like they started out from this thing that looks like a dog kangaroo type deal? We've talked yeah. about this before, right? We okay. have. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. they split off. I didn't realize that though. I thought they had separate ancestors. They split off I've after heard, like I've heard different ancestors, but both like all of them always were on land first. They all it always is the dolph- or the uh, the whales started on land, no like, matter how you slice right. it. Listen, this is makes this makes zero sense. Absolute you, zero. evolution dogs. is a sham if this is what they're trying to push on us. <laughs> That's th- they're dogs basically. I mean, you could see it though with the way that. But, yeah, but big, to, to, to all of a sudden be able to breathe, uh, well, I guess yeah. I guess whales breathe air, but to all of a sudden just survive in the fucking water makes zero sense. I don't know. I don't. It know makes sense to me. It's, it's starting to yeah. make a lot of sense. 
I, well, I, I can see the other way, going out of the water into the land, but I can't see into the land. <laughs> you can't see you somebody can't see the other upset. way. Huh? I can't yeah. see the other way. I can see they can water only go one way. I can see water to land. Can't see land to water. <laughs> <laughs> what about people that only cruises? works water to land? <laughs> yeah, yeah. the other way. Otherwise, it makes no sense. I don't know. The water's pretty sweet. Yeah. Uh, speaking of the water, so, also some of them drowned originally, Wes. You know, right? Took, that's took how I do. That's how I don't. I don't know how drownings. they figured it out. Yeah, <laughs> I don't see well, that, how they got past the drowning stage. It took generations, <laughs> but eventually they got in there. Uh, allegedly, according to quote unquote scientists uh speaking of the ocean and scientists too guys uh trending weirdly uh on google the noaa will pay you for dolphin fish stomachs if you live in hawaii so mm. that's the national oceanic and atmospheric administration they'll give you a 50 dollars gift card for every 10 dolphin fish stomachs you turn into them isn't that mahi mahi dolphin fish yeah. mahi yeah. mahi mm -hmm. it's delicious interesting yeah no, i mean you couldn't make a living on it but they want they cool. want the stomachs yeah could you um, yeah, you, you, yeah. Can you just eat those fish too? Yeah, you can oh, eat the yeah. fish. I mean, it's not so like, and then just swell in the stomachs. Yeah, well, way better. I was in Costa Rica one time, uh, and, and uh, we were doing sail fishing, and some guy caught a mahi, and they sh they sashimi that shit for everyone at the resort for dinner. It was just like a giant plate of mahi sashimi. It was one of the best things mm. I've ever eaten in my life. Sounds pretty Humble good. Humble Yeah, it's good, and it's a beautiful fish too. Lots of color on it. Gorgeous, so gorgeous. Look at that. Uh, let's start with some good news because uh, there's actually there's good news in this cup of coffee and there's bad news. So we're so, going good news first. Well, we're going, we're going water to land, not, not no, 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 no. Water. What, well, what I've done, drag. Mark, bad news is land to water. Yeah, what I've done, bad. Mark, is generations drag. Look, mom, I can hold my breath for 20 minutes dead. <laughs> No, no, no. What I've done is this. It's more like a hot okay. tub to the snow situation. Okay. Like okay. if you're in a hot tub and then you jump in the snow and then you get back in the hot tub because we'll start in the hot tub, jump in the snow, literally Russia, back in the hot tub with some more good news, jump okay. in the maybe. Well, we'll see how you feel about everything else. But okay. really just the bad news is mostly. Okay. It. Okay. Starting with the good news first, Jupiter, fellas. Well, for telescope lovers, Jupiter is as close to Earth as it will be for 107 years right now. So it's pretty cool. I love like a to telescope and want to look at it. I like to get a little peek at Jupiter. Wouldn't mind. Yeah. Pretty good news, right? If you love it, if you love a telescope. Uh, also, Canada lifted all border COVID mandates and uh, removed uh, mask requirements for planes and trains. So that's cool. good news for Canadians. What's that's the Jupiter very, thing? It's very good news. Congrats, mean for women. Does that mean anything for women? Are they going to get crazier? Are they going to be crazier? Is it yeah. is this like Mercury and retrograde type yeah, is, thing? Is, is this it, is this Jupiter and crazy? What do I have to prepare maybe. for at home yeah, with this Jupiter right. thing? I you, I, I think the it's more of a you can use Jupiter being close as <laughs> to blame anything on it. You know what? I think right. Jupiter was closer this past weekend than it's ever been. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> <only>. <laughs> what is Jupiter close? <laughs> Ask yeah, me. I think Jupiter Any, was pretty close this past Thursday. <laughs> Any argument that breaks out, uh, just 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 blame it on Jupiter in the next uh, month or so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, and good news for everybody but England: uh, the British pound is barely worth more than a dollar for the first oh, time wait ever. Till we pass. Oh, we're gonna get. Oh, but man, it used to be like a buck fifty. Oh buck yeah, 60. now it's one, it was one hundred three at the lowest mark oh, on Monday. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, uh, this is this comes after the I British go government to England now. I want to go travel. Yes, try to get if you can afford uh, to travel to England. Now is the still, time. Yeah, now, Damn. right. Damn uh, most it. that with the global recession mark, believe it or not, most yeah. people in that boat can't travel there, but would Fuck. be great. Uh, yeah, but if you could, this is the time. <laughs> yes, if you yeah. could, it's the time. Uh, but which with with currencies declining, I mean, we'll, we'll probably see a lot of this going on. But um, yeah, so th this happened after uh, the government, the British government announced plans to cut taxes by the most in 50 years in England. So great for English citizens, no taxes. But the government said they're going to continue to spend and take out loans at a record pace as well. So basically what you would do if you just wanted to bankrupt yourself or go broke, you know, basically. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, because they announced those plans, then the pound fell to its lowest rate Whoops. of all time against the yeah. dollar. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, plans oh, were bad. <laughs> <laughs> so Liz Truss, her first yeah, act yeah. as a prime minister was to drive the pound down to the lowest it's ever been. Yeah, that's Jupiter. Yeah, pound yeah, it's true, yeah. Wes. Yeah. There it is. Jupiter yeah, got her. her. <laughs> you called it. You called it. 
Uh, but luckily for us, Italy's got a Jupiter woman thing going on later too, don't they? Will? Oh, oh they do. Yeah. They do but I I think it's okay. a different reason for that than Jupiter, but we'll okay. get to it. Uh, <laughs> luckily for us, though, this means that the pound is finally worth way, 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 way less than the Costco hot dog and soda combo, which it was Mark, as Mark said, used to be about the same value. It's true. Uh, more on uh, the Costco hot dog and soda combo from the CEO of Costco. You must be tired at this point of uh, answering questions about food court, but you did tweak some prices on some items on the menu, which inevitably <laughs> leads to speculation about the hot dog combo. Is there any inflationary environment where you would raise that price? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Plain and That's simple, right. fellas. Yeah. This guy's like our queen. When he dies, we need to do like an 11 day funeral. <laughs> the CEO of yeah. Costco? Yeah. <laughs> they need to shut everything down for 11 days. I'm with that. Yeah. <laughs> no so sports. We all like, you know, everyone's sad. We march, you know. Yeah. The CEO of Costco is probably the more the king of America than the president. That's what I'm oh, saying. Easily. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 100%. Yeah. 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 Any president. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, for sure. Especially this next yeah. president we're about to talk about, Mark. Russian President Vladimir Putin. Uh, so let's jump into the bad news, right? Some bad news. Russia is getting grim. <laughs> Somehow even more grim than long lines of uh, men at the border who can't get out without a fight. Uh, multiple shootings popped off in Russia on Monday. In Siberia, a Russian military officer was shot uh, at a draft office. So... Uh, you know, there, there's lots of uh, activity at the conscription offices right. for the military in Siberia. A, 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 I guess a kid or somebody uh, shot one of the officers there. Uh, there have been 17 total attacks on draft military. If, I, if you're dead, right? <laughs> right. One of those. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or if yeah, or if I get away in this checks out, yeah. I mean, yeah, you can't draft me if there's no draft office That's or if you kill me, the which ground. Is yeah. probably which is. Yeah. yeah, it's true. A lot of that's happening. There's been 17 total attacks on military recruitment centers since the 300,000 yeah. uh, reservist mobilization was announced by Putin. What, like last week? Yeah. So um, and worst of all, fellas, Russia had a uh, terribly deadly elementary school shooting. What well, was a like oh. primary school? So it was all the grades. This is, the, this is in the bad news part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very bad news. Uh, the same day as, as all the other uh, stuff going on at the conscription offices where 17 people were killed and 24 uh, were wounded uh, by a shooter who wore Nazi symbols and appeared to idolize the Columbine shooters. Come yeah, on. see, this is this screams false flag. Like, I hate the term false flag, but this this particular with the with the mobilization orders and then the hate of Nazis being the you know the 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 reason that Putin went went in there to begin with this yeah. screams a staged attack by Putin. So I, I guess I, okay, it just does. Yeah, oh, but I don't know what the definition. So horrible. Of, I don't yeah, know like it, the true definition of false flag, but all that matters is if the you know the children that lost their lives like the like oh it's to terrible me, sometimes a false flag is like it's not even a real event and they have like alex jones right. like they have child yeah. actors like the the kids never existed to begin with like no. it, it might be a staged event but the there's real death 17 right, of 20 course. children losing their lives is fucking i didn't mean awful. it that, i didn't mean it yeah. didn't happen i mean that yeah. that, that, that it might have been right you think it could by, be a planted uh, thing right. higher ups right. yes yeah i mean the, the nazi stuff the, the columbine stuff yeah. right i yeah. get what you're saying there west uh, this coward, who we will not name uh, no, because no. he's a mass uh, child shooter, uh, killed himself after killing 11 kids and injuring 22 more. And I'm going to play you a clip from inside the school warning. It is there's no graphic violence in the clip, but it is an intense clip. So uh, here you go, fellas. The uh, first part. Uh, yeah. top, uh, <laughs> <hearing> kids. <laughs> 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 so there looked like there was a pretty good response. You know, there, <laughs> wow. uh, this part is recording. People oh, God. in a room hiding under the desk. Oh, and he's right. shooting at the Joke Not good. Not good at all going on in Russia. Uh, That's yeah. sad. Yeah. Very sad. Very sad. Um, but. Uh, you guys want to know how Putin is totally insane? Yes. 
Uh, Because his reaction to this complete chaos and upheaval in Russia, you know, people are like scrambling to the borders. They can't get out. Uh, You know, there's there's mass shootings, uh, shootings at at his his draft offices. Um, You know, you'd think he'd like try to like calm the country down, like maybe an address or speech or something. He went to his bunker. Yeah. Palace. Secret Palace, West, but he also was making moves uh, if he was at the Secret Palace because he decided on the same day to give Russian citizenship to Edward Snowden uh, to taunt the U.S. government. Uh, and then he also decided to fuck with Europe by turning down uh, the pressure in the Nord Stream gas pipelines as well, instead of you know giving a flying fuck about his citizens who are literally trying to flee the country. So yeah, he doesn't care anymore. He's 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 on. He's he's not coming back to sanity. He's crossed the Rubicon of insanity. And yeah, he's like Kim Jong Un, mm-hmm. but with actual like resources. Yeah, yeah with Russia instead of North right. Korea. Exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, newsflash for uh, this little dickhead because uh, nobody gives a fuck about Edward Snowden compared to the no. entire invasion of Ukraine. So he's he's thinking he's doing this like tit for tat thing. Snowden's probably like, I don't even know if I want to be a citizen. This no, this of course time. not. You know, he's a political yeah. prisoner. Him yeah. and his family are <laughs> yeah. now forever right. political prisoners of fuck. Russia. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, the, the U.S. government should have forgiven Snowden, but now he's just Vladimir's Snowden political did prisoner. Noth- Snowden did nothing wrong, in my opinion. But Snowden, uh, his wife, and his two kids. I agree with that. But, but yeah, uh, I don't know if he wants to be in Russia right now. You know? Well, Vlad is making it permanent. Um, also, the U.S. government is sending 12 billion more in Ukraine uh, aid. Uh, but enough of that. Let's move on. Let's move on to uh, more good news more good subjects uh, in the sports world jimmy johnson i don't know if it's good news Are you guys jimmy johnson fans in nascar he's retiring like the old cowboys coach that became no or- the nascar driver wait uh, no no, no. they're jimmy different johnson. people no I, I know right i don't know jimmy johnson yeah jimmy johnson is also i can't even tell you if they're the different people so i don't really care yeah, yeah jimmy, jimmy johnson, johnson was an old was a cowboys coach now there's a race car driver jimmy johnson mm-hmm. Yeah. He's retiring. He's, he's got a gray mm-hmm. beard and he probably won a lot of NASCAR races and I don't care that he's retired. Okay. Retiring from NASCAR. There we go. Yeah. Uh that's Sports World uh first story. Uh Christian seven time Pulisic. NASCAR champion. We should know seven that seven time. They have like eighty races. He was the Lowe's guy, that. right? He drove for Lowe's. <laughs> yeah, he's the Lowe's guy. <laughs> yeah, Lowe's guy. How many races yeah. are there a year? You should be seven times. <laughs> <laughs> there well, seven times Lowe's. Seven Cup impactful champion. ones. <laughs> Oh, seven, what, did you say the cup champion or just race? Champion? Uh, it's probably the cup. I don't know. It has to be cup. cup. Yeah. It has to be uh, cup. It can't yeah, be it has to be end of year things, right? <laughs> yeah. He won yeah. uh, Bristol in 92. <laughs> right. And, uh, <laughs> seven all time wins. <laughs> probably has a hundred all time wins. <laughs> yeah, he probably does. <laughs> yeah, so he's retiring. Article. <laughs> he's retiring. Seven time NASCAR champion. There you go. Champion yeah, yeah. probably means end of year. That means right? he won the points total at the right, end. Right, right. Yeah, won the, yeah, yeah, won the yeah, cup yeah, seven yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so good driver. <laughs> he's retiring from NASCAR. Seven time Christian- NASCAR race winner. <laughs> <laughs> That's everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah everyone that is, is in NASCAR for more than five years. No, it's like Jimmy, Jimmy anybody Johnson's in the, the top guest. 20. That's yeah. right. Because Jimmy Johnson and, and, um, and what's his name were butt buddies. And then he broke his record. Uh, Dale. The, the Ra- No, the Rainbow Warrior. The uh, Earnhardt. No, not Earnhardt. Jimmy, oh, Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon. Oh, Gordon. Yeah, 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 Jeff yeah. Gordon had, I think, the most championships. And then he was like training and butt buddies with Jimmy Johnson. who just smashed his records, I think. Yeah. Well, uh, good news for everybody else. He's gone now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, soon. Christian Pulisic, another Christian Pulisic, another like U.S. superstar except in soccer. He may be headed to Juventus uh, mm-hmm. from from Chelsea. Uh, Maybe they and, treat uh, him a little better than Chelsea did, right? Because then he'll get to start. That's why it's good news. Yeah. And then best of all in sports news, the pro, the NFL Pro Bowl fellas is changing to a week long skills contest slash flag football tournament in Vegas leading up to the Super Bowl called the Pro Bowl Games, uh, which that's cool. Right. It's just like instead of doing the the actual game, it's just the skills portion, like the contest, which are more fun to watch anyways. Can they they, that means they'll probably add some cool things like who can throw the football the furthest? Yeah. 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 
yeah. for sure. But it's also amazing news, Mark, for all the linemen that make it because you're going to have to do like one tug of war and then you just get hammered at the pool. Yeah, for them, it's going to be like, who can eat the most sandwiches? Right, exactly. Yeah. Who, how many buffets can can we yeah. destroy? Because how, we don't have to do that many events. How many pounds of cocktail shrimp can you eat? <laughs> <laughs> that might be, uh, <laughs> be incredible. It might be kind of a bad thing for some of the some of the guys that have had like a shit season that like need to prove themselves because I mean those the fans and 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 are going to be looking at those things and being like he did terrible in the in the you know the blah 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 get him off the fucking team you blah, better blah. throw the ball forward yeah, so. you better run uh, uh, I bet there's going to be some shit given for if you poor, perform care poorly about- in those contests <laughs> I 100%. judge the shit out of all the people in like the yeah. NBA skills competition absolutely if they can't balance pass it through a fucking tire I'm like yeah hey, no this guy doing a point guard well it's definitely more exactly. pressure on the skill yeah. players uh, yeah. that's what I'm saying it's yeah. great for linemen linemen yeah, great for linemen news ever easy yeah yeah the best news ever you're a lineman you just get to go you get a paid vacation to Vegas and just get to chill it's and you awesome do like though. one lifting event yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's flag it's amazing football. for linemen yeah that's awesome yeah and, and for people who like to play flag football which i'd imagine if you're a top flight skill player you probably want to do that are we going to talk about magnus carlson now or later um i have something on him later okay so. excellent more to come on the chess world later that's also sports technically <clears throat> is it i don't know uh okay no, more news no, italy no, <laughs> international <laughs> news <laughs> Italy, oh. as Mark alluded to earlier, has voted in their first female prime minister because Jupiter's out of orbit. Um, uh, you know, but no, just because they like her. Apparently, that's what that's what that's what it's looking like. Uh, she's the first of, of all time. What's that, Mark? Yeah. yeah, it's weird. I think she won with twenty six percent of the vote, or her. Party. Yeah, yeah, we'll get into it. So, yeah, that's so not she a lot w- of the vote, but yeah. Right, because they have more parties in mm-hmm. Italy than than in America. Yeah. Uh, so uh, she will get the job in October. Her name is Giorgia Maloney. And here she is. Uh, she says, uh, grazie, Italia, uh, holding up the sign says, thank you, Italy. Um, and she's 45 years old, working class from Rome. Uh, and she's a member of the Brothers of Italy party, uh, uh, which... Could you, can you, do you have a symbol Wes can judge? Oh, yeah. it's We're going to get to it at the end. Mm. Yeah. The Brothers of Italy symbol. Uh, that's that's her party, which has many in the media and especially those on Twitter uh, declaring that Italy has returned to the fascism of Benito Mussolini. What was his um, party? Will? not this one, not the it Brothers was. of Italy. No, it was, was it? Yeah, no. I mean, it? that it's from what direct, I looked up, it's a it. direct descendant of his party and they even use his slogan still. They they do the they use the logo to the, to the logo and his saying like family nationality God like he they use his they use his exact wording of his of his and his logo so yeah. Mark you're on the they're definitely fascist now I yeah. think the p- brothers of whatever are are definitely fascist yes she's saying they're not and like maybe yeah maybe maybe so Mark maybe you're yeah. right time will tell on that yeah uh, but she really just won using an anti Klaus Schwab. Uh, campaign. Uh, she doesn't like the globalists. She thinks they've ruined uh, the world uh, with COVID and the economy. Uh, and so she had a large backing of all the parties uh, on the right in Italy uh, and a divided left of Italy. Uh, turned yeah. out she won pretty comfortably. Like Mark said, with 26% of the vote, uh, the next closest party was 19%, uh, the Democratic Party. Um, and so this is what she said in a, in a speech earlier this year in Spain. She says, yes to natural family, no to LGBT lobby, right. yes to sexual identity, no to trans, no to gender ideology, no to Islamist violence, yes to secure borders, no to mass migration, no to big international finance, no to the bureaucrats of Brussels. Yo, um, she's got her pluses and minuses, but she's big time nationalist, big time religion and big time nuclear family. And, and anyone that's trying to get on a boat from Africa is getting turned away. Uh, oh yeah the borders are getting closed down yeah, that's that's the, the end of that those sank. Wh- which yeah that's the end of those boats yeah borders are closing in italy this yeah. is only one week after uh sweden's government also experienced a surprise flip to a conservative party as well uh wes this is the logo that people say is uh is hmm uh, I, very racist it's actually a pretty good logo. yeah i don't yeah. think it's that the fl- racist. It the looks tricolor like a, flame it's like a fiat emblem yeah kind of or like uh, a wine bottle like a 
That's yeah. the logo. That tricolor flame right. is the thing people are really big on. Well, the flame. problem is because it's the same logo flame. that Mussolini used. That's the problem. right. Is it, it is. It, it's not. It's not that that is a uh, you know like a, a burning uh, uh, an African man on a boat type imagery. Uh, yeah. It's a. Uh, it's that very Mussolini had the exact same logo. Yes, people yes. are very upset about the tricolor flame. Yes, uh, regardless I mean, of like how a, you feel, it looks like a pizza restaurant logo. Yeah, like a wood hub, wood oven Italian pizza black. restaurant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, all pizza restaurants <laughs> look like the Italian flag. She's like when Dwight Schrute did the, uh, what was yeah. it the Stalin speech? Like she's now. still doing like the Mussolini speeches, like in the office, like in everyone like mm. cheer. I watched her speeches. I thought they were fine. Uh, regardless of how you feel about this election outcome, uh, you were absolutely kidding yourself if you didn't think there was going to be a huge change coming in Italy after two World Cup misses in a row. You fucking kidding? Italians are going to burn it to the ground. It was record low turnout. You if don't she, that shit doesn't fly in Italy. If she can get them back in the World Cup, it's going to be bigger than 26% next election. Oh, she'll yeah, yeah she, she's about to she'll become the next Mussolini for yeah. real. Yeah. Um <laughs> exactly. uh and could Sweden and Italy uh be a sign of things to come? A recent ABC Washington Post poll kind of thinks so, uh with 84% of voters saying that economy is their biggest issue. Okay. I can imagine Australia is going to have a swing. Yeah, but Albanese just came in with the liberals. The, the, this re- this global recession is really going to throw everybody for a loop. Right. So. Everyone just, just wants anyone, but who's right? It, who's not? It'll just be a rotating yeah. door. Which whatever's yeah. going on in our exactly. Country, right? Yeah. Yeah. So every so whoever is in charge in your country now, they won't Al. be next year. Yeah. Uh, which brings us to the cream of the crop. And the cream of the crop today, fellas, is some of the best news I have ever heard, and it's simply this: eating meat helps you be less depressed. Oh, nice. It's a scientific fact. Uh, Brazilian researchers have published a study in the Journal of Affective Disorders uh, that found over 14,216 participants aged 35 to 74 years old over a six-month period that vegetarians were found to have double the number of depressive episodes as meat eaters during the (laughs) same period. Double. Vegetarians are big babies? No, No kidding. They are depressed, Wes. <laughs> They're depressed. Well, look, uh, I mean, time out. This makes total sense because, like, if, if things are going on in your life that suck, you can always look forward to a good meal. Uh, not so fast vegetarians, right? Mm-hmm. Like, what is there to look forward to? Right. No, no, no. Mark, that's a great point. Even if you don't eat much meat or, like, are against it, just cook some bacon sometimes or right. take a fish oil supplement. It that literally... Is- Makes you feel better. It's going to change the mood up if you have bacon or like a steak, mm-hmm. you know? Oh, yeah, the house is, smells amazing. Oh, yeah. a steak. What's the science? Wings. I, I nice know the burger. psychological yeah. uh, aspect, but, but is there any science behind it? Like is iron? Yeah, they say, help you? they say they don't get enough nutrients. They're like, right. basically, the, the meat makes yeah, you happy. starving themselves. Yeah, the science yeah. is uh, as a human, again, they're starving themselves the in their body. Yeah, that's the science. The science. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> literally, literally the science. <laughs> the science is at 3 p.m. when you're sad and you think about what you're going to eat at 6 p.m. You're yeah. still sad in one in one bucket and then you're not in the other. Right. The science is literally snap into a Slim Jim. Yeah. yeah. They're going uh, against all evolution on this one. Yep. That's <laughs> yeah. what that's this what the is, scientists said. This is going, going from there. land into the water. Right, yeah, yeah. That's what vegetarians did. They went <laughs> they, from the land into did. the water. Yeah. yeah. They did. They're like whales. <laughs> They're hard to understand. Uh so here's a quote from the scientists. They say, uh, depressive episodes are more prevalent in individuals who do not eat meat independently of socioeconomic lifestyle factors. So Literally, that just means eat meat if you want to feel a little bit happier. So get out there, enjoy your favorite meats in moderation because it's the fatathon after all right now. That's right. Yeah. And that's a cup of coffee in the big time, which was brought to you today by my bookie. Uh, you know football, right? And yeah. you pick winners all the time, right? I try right? to. Yeah. yeah. Well, 60, 54% of the time. I know you guys do. Yeah. I know you guys can pick them. I've yeah. seen you do it. So why not get paid for them at my bookie? Come on. Yeah, do it. Uh, bet single game spreads, money lines, or parlay multiple uh, together to increase your payouts. Low contest entry fees and over half a million to be won. Make it so you don't have to be a pro gambler to have fun. Anybody can get in on my bookie and enjoy placing some wagers. Uh, getting started is easy. Just visit mybookie.ag and use promo code FACTOR. Uh, on your first deposit to secure a double deposit bonus. That's promo code FACTOR, F-A-C-T-O-R, to get your first deposit matched dollar for dollar all the way up to a 1000 bucks. Hmm, pretty good. Uh, MyBookie is a proven sports book that makes it simple to bet and win, so make 
this your winning season exclusively at my bookie go to uh my bookie slash hard factor and use promo code factor to get the double deposit bonus and get in on the football season action this year at my bookie hell yeah one more word from our sponsor factor Mm. what you heard that right factor yes uh what do you think of when you think of fall for me it's a packed schedule luckily though factors ready to eat meal delivery keeps uh keeps me fueled up and feeling good no matter how crazy the days are getting the nights are getting whether you need a quick lunch or a nutritious meal that's ready in minutes factor makes it easy and it's cheaper than takeout that's a serious fall win also real quick before i continue with this lombard trucking we just got like our shipment of factors like we're just starting to eat these delicious meals oh i'm on the keto plan i can't wait i know lombard Mm -hmm. trucking he's um he's been using it for months while he's out on the road trucking he said he's lost weight he's eaten better than when he was in the marines and he said if you want to win in the fatathon it's like a cheat code so just just saying uh factor is the perfect mealtime solution for an on-the-go lifestyle their fresh never frozen meals are delivered ready to heat and eat in two minutes so you know you can fuel it fast and get on with your day factor now offers over 30 meals per week uh over 36 add-on options smoothies juices snacks you name it um yeah it's cheaper than takeout no doubt about it when things get extra busy factor is flexible change your order up every week with plans from four to 18 meals per week or you can pause anytime if you've like if you like uh, i got two many factors i want to pause and slow it down this week change up the amounts you can do that and they'll just deliver it all to you super easy to make super affordable and it's uh, by super, far yeah. the best uh, meal delivery program I've, I've ever signed up for yeah and it's literally Without called F- factor guys again i don't know how much more clear we should be working with them for like for the rest of our careers so uh you know Get some, get some of the. Let's sh- make this stuff. one count. Let's Art make this one count, have. listeners. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, new Protein Plus preference makes it easy to power up with deliciously satisfying meals. If you want to not be depressed, right? The Protein Plus one, uh, right? And anyways, yeah, go, go, just go get it. Head to go dot factor 75.com slash hard factor 130 and use code hard factor 130 to get 130 dollars mm. off across six boxes that's code hard factor 130 when you go to this url go dot factor 75.com slash hard factor 130 130 dollars off that'll be in the descriptions mm. everywhere you're watching this or listening to this click on the hyperlink yeah always for our sponsors get in those show notes if you want to see yep uh, mm-hmm it's in Spotify, it's in Apple, it's in YouTube, wherever you're, yeah. Okay, uh, let's head over to Utah for a story that will make uh, Alabamans and West Virginians blush. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah. so it's some, some serious incest. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> meet the Hawk family of Utah. There they are. Good looking, happy family there, right? Okay. Maybe a little maybe a little too happy, as you'll soon hear. Uh, on the left, let me put it back up. On the left, there is son Jeff and his wife, uh, Cambria. And then there's mom, Nancy, uh, the real star of the story, and her poor husband, Jason. Uh, so, mm-hmm. so Jeff and Cambria who are like uh let's say late 20s early 30s who, who gives a fuck they you know they're young they have four wonderful kids already young they have like a uh, two two sets of twins which is insane they have like three-year-old twins and like 11 month old twins so they've got four very young kids they're young happily married couple themselves but unfortunately for cambria After the second set of twins, there were a bunch of medical issues. She's no longer able to give birth and had to have a hysterectomy like those Uyghurs. Uh, And she volunteered that information because for some reason she wanted to. And volunteering things for this story that we didn't really need to know is going to become pretty commonplace here. Uh, So, Hmm. like, how about this piece of information? Uh, Uh since, Since Cambria couldn't bear a child, Jeff seeded up her egg to form an embryo and then they shoved that uh bad boy into jeff's 56 year old mom's vagina into her uterus so that she could carry her son's child for nine to ten months oh man couldn't find anyone else huh no no they need more kids they've already got four and they need they needed to put one this was the first child why can't they adopt right because they don't want to adopt because they don't want to. Because they, they wouldn't be pure. Will. It's not. Yeah. Because they, they wouldn't hmm. love that fucking. Well, is it right. pure when it comes out of your mom's womb? It's a little too pure. Well, it's a little too pure. <laughs> that's that's extremely genetically pure. Uh, Nancy is about to give birth. <laughs> to, pure as it gets. That's as pure <laughs> as it gets. That's like mountain water. Uh, Nancy is about to give birth to her own granddaughter. And here are the hawks smiling again. Right. Oh, look at us. Oh, no, the grandfather. The, uh, Nancy's uh, husband is a little concerned. He's, no, he's into 
into it. Oh, wow. Oh he's, he's into actually, it. Yeah, he's into it. He's into it. He was uh, posing for like funny photos with He them. is. He is. Yeah, they've uh, all lost their minds. They're smiling so. for the camera and telling their story instead of just keeping it between them and their doctor who yeah. would have drunkenly told a few people causing the juiciest piece of gossip in years to spread around town like a fucking wildfire, mainly in grocery store aisles and walking groups. Then, of course, everyone's suspicions would have been confirmed when Nancy, who was way too old to be pregnant, uh, didn't have a baby and all of a sudden her son and daughter-in-law kept showing up to the house with a new baby in a detachable car seat and then put that new baby in a stroller or just carried it in the house because it was so small and new so that it could go see <laughs> grandma mom and grandpa they skipped yeah. all that and got ahead yeah. of it if nancy yeah. doesn't die because she's 56 trying to deliver a baby that's, right, that's a great point wes that's right wes uh, what's wrong with is these she people? still pregnant right now yeah, it's November 5th. So, you know, like very nice of mom to offer. And again, I feel for the young couple, but they already had four kids, like we said. And hey, maybe they want more. That's fine. Right. Go for it. But mom's uterus really like adopt or pay for someone that's not mom to surrogate. Right. And look, I, I get that that's expensive. And I'm sure mom gave them the sweet deal of I'll do it for free as long as you let me babysit her anytime I want yep. to. Uh, yep. <laughs> but like yeah. raising five kids is also expensive. So you had the money to do that. Maybe just splurge for the not mom. Whose surrogate. idea was it, Mark? Uh, it turns out, Will, that the whole thing was mom, now grandma, Nancy's idea. Yeah, I figured. It had to have been. Yep, yeah. I figured. Here's a He's quote a from Nancy. Here's a quote from Nancy. Mm -hmm. uh, I just suddenly had a feeling a few months after uh, <laughs> that I should offer to do it. I told my son, and he teared up and was shocked. Yeah, yeah, I bet he well, was I'm sure shocked. it was just an offer. I bet yeah. he was shocked. Uh, he was crying because <laughs> he, he, he knew she wasn't going to drop it from that nope. point on. Yep. He yeah. had to do it. <laughs> he, he had to say that he doesn't want to have a kid well, again. I guess I'm getting my mom pregnant. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then she says, drop this one. I hadn't even told my husband at that point, but he was really supportive, which I doubt at first he was. Uh, yeah. The baby's due November 5th. And here's mom looking at her son's sperm that went into her and is now growing in her as her grandchild child. She looks like she might offer to do this again. Yeah. I mean, she's she's doing all the press requests, too, huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she looks healthy. She, uh, mm -hmm. she looks pretty happy. clearly to be OK with this. She's also insane. Something well, tells West. Me. She's yeah. screaming. Jupiter's going to bring this baby out. Yeah. yeah, she's screaming it from the mountaintop. This Jupiter. could be a Jupiter. Uh, th this could be like Jupiter's final act. Really? This yeah. could be. It's, it was. It's been it's coming. Main, Jupiter's yeah. been approaching for at least six months. <laughs> God, uh, something God tells it. came to me at night <laughs> and told me I should have your baby. Yeah, yeah, your mm -hmm. fifth child. Something yeah. tells me that husband Jason <laughs> is going to have to do some damage control when menopause, which you'd assume at the age of 56, is knocking on Nancy door. Nancy's door shows up. And look, women are amazing. And I can't even imagine having to go through monthly periods and then getting pregnant and then breastfeeding and nurturing. And then after a lifetime of that, menopause hits, changing your hormones and causing deep depression in a lot of women. I'm not yeah. trying to make light of that. Uh, all I'm trying to do is give Jason a heads up uh, if he sees this that he might want to read a book or two based on the fact that his 56 year old wife is carrying their son's child and looks like this in all the photos it's going to hit her hard uh yeah yeah, yeah it is is she already it, in it though like when does I, I that think, no I think she, she wouldn't be able to have the child if she was in it oh, right really? but i think she's a maybe about to be and that's what she's made, concerned. made her made her think she's about gonna this keep, yeah she's going to keep having the children until she's had menopause this is like the equivalent of a 56 year old dude dyeing his hair for the first time and buying a sports car it's like a well, midlife crisis but like a crazy why could she one. have just had another baby with her husband uh yeah like in, like in uh what's it called uh father of the bride part two right uh, yeah where he, they just yeah. get pregnant Oh, probably maybe she was trying and it wasn't happening. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he got snipped. It's also a really huge favor, though. We'll say that. Son Jeff said, there is no repayment for something like that. All I can okay. do is follow the examples my parents have set and try to give that same level of love and devotion to my oh. own family and to others. And I'd say maybe a little less devotion would be fine, right. Jeff. Hey, yeah, that level of devotion as a father, Jeff, is is a crime. Yeah, uh, and uh, <laughs> you, you would be uh, a, a bad guy. 
Maybe a little less devotion, Jeff. This is like the opposite of most generations where the older generations beat the living shit out of their kids and never said they love them. And then it got like a little less violent and a little more loving each generation. Uh, you can go a little the opposite direction here, Jeff, and you'll be fine. Yeah. You know how they say you're not supposed to ever like sell your friend a car because yeah. it can create bad blood. You know, you just shouldn't have your mom carry your baby either. Same no, reason. Yeah. It's a, yeah. Put that on a bumper sticker. Yeah, yeah. You yep. shouldn't have your mom carry your child. <laughs> yeah. But no, I think that what happened here awesome is Nancy. Yeah. Nancy just rules with an iron fist. Like when she came up with the idea of, right. hey, I can carry your fifth child. It wasn't going to go away. No, ever. I think when no, Nancy right. approached her son about it, it, she'd already been to the doctors who told her right. she could. And like she'd done a bunch of things without telling anyone. He always does what Nancy says. Like yeah. she's, the, the, she said, so I'm not going to give you the not, house he, loan he, money if pregnant. you don't let me do this. <laughs> right. Remember the money I was going to lend you for the house? Yeah. Now you don't get it unless I get to carry your baby. Yeah. It's it's a favor that she, <laughs> for her, really. It was really yeah. a favor for Nancy. Right. It's like a fucked up porn title, honestly. Impregnate yeah. me or you won't get the house money. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like, yeah. let me, it's like a step parent. It's like a step parent like porn. A fucked up incest but it's a real porn you'd see on yeah. YouTube. Oh, you, you oh, porn. So Utah, huh? Uh, yeah, of course it was Utah. They've had some wild ones out of Utah with the with the old uh, underage sex uh, too recently. There's a lot of sex stories out of there out of Utah. I mean, as long as everyone's happy and healthy, congratulations, I guess. I I don't know. It's probably yeah. the low. It's the low alcohol content and all the you know. Yeah, if if you're not getting drunk at all, you're you're having more sex. Yeah. probably. Are these people Mormons? I mean, I probably they have they have to be prob right? probably they're probably in like an even more secular yeah. uh, branch of Mormonism <laughs> that that yeah. they live in like the side of a cliff. They get to go know, to the like special room in temple. Yeah. That's yeah. too far. Yeah, it's too far. It is. You shouldn't have asked, Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I've got an idea. You know, your mother. Yeah. <laughs> when your mother gets an idea in her, she, she yeah. sees it through. Poor Jason's got it. <laughs> now he's got to go along with it. She's like, I don't know what I got myself into. Let's be Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at us. We're oh. crazy. <laughs> I mean, I'm who? <laughs> Hopefully Dad the, should have the, stepped the, in here and put a stop to this. He should have, but he's a fucking pussy. Yeah, he he never pussy. steps in. Yeah. Uh, it's I'm like you said, Wes, it's going to create book on menopause. an odd dynamic, too. Because well, Nancy could die. Well, imagine she, she could, die. could, Wes. It's very dangerous to carry and give birth to a child yeah. at 56. Yes. Yeah. No, not only the physical danger, but think about this. The mom and then her, like, they're both going to feel like they're the mom of that kid. Oh, oh yeah. you think so, Nancy's not going to be fucking protective of... of right, like, yeah. This she's going to be holding wild. the baby more than the mom because she's going to be fights she, over there. Oh, until that kid's 10, she's going to be, like, holding it more than the actual mom because she carried it. It's a bad It's a bad scene. Bad idea. Yeah, I carried scene. it. You already had four kids. Tell your mom no. Uh, any men in your in Nancy's life should be like n n her son can't step up to the plate and her husband can't say fucking no to Nancy. She's <laughs> carrying the fucking incest babies. That's how much she gets away with everything in that family. Oh, yeah. 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 Nancy's rules. She's a tyrant. Yeah. Ooh, well, <laughs> well, let's keep an eye on that. Make sure Nancy's OK. Um, yeah. yeah November, hopefully, November hopefully 5th. Right? Yeah, yeah. Let's let's get Nancy on the show. <laughs> Explain. I'd love to hear her on. side of it. Yeah. Yeah, just, what what came over you? Why did you think it was a great idea? Yeah, you know? couldn't you just loan them fifty thousand for another surrogate? Listen, when God tells Nancy, <laughs> not something, you, that like a younger woman that's not related to them. I would it. love to hear the thought yeah. process. Yeah, it was God telling her that she needed to do it. Well, like, of course like, it was a thousand okay. percent. Yeah. yeah, something happened to Temple. Yeah, or in the middle of the <laughs> night, who knows? Um, guys, um, moving on. Um, I have a Chihuahua. I'm getting uh, probably way into owning a Chihuahua. In fact, um, coincidentally, this shirt came today. Check it out. It's oh, wow. a uh, a Chihuahua. Oh, I'm a Chihuahua I mean, guy. I'm a, I'm a Chihuahua dad now. Yeah, it's like right? a Chihuahua, uh, artsy Chihuahua. Chihuahua shirt. No yeah, shame in it. I'm, I'm a happy cat dad. No shame in it. Literally came today. I love her. Nice. Um, my girlfriend thinks I'm a little bit obsessed with her, but you know what? Fuck it. She's awesome. Um, mm -hmm. However, uh, if she did what one Chihuahua did to a woman in Wales, I don't think I could ever look at her the same and I'd probably have to, you know, rover foist her like I was rover foisted to begin with. Um, guys, I want you to meet uh, Amanda and Belle. There they are. Aww. That's Amanda, That's the cute. human and Belle, the dog, the Chihuahua. As you can see, the two have a 
quite a bond. Uh, so much so that Amanda and Belle take naps together on a regular basis, just like I do with with my sweet Betty May. Every um, Chihuahua owner takes naps with a Chihuahua. Yeah, right? look at this. Look, look here's a, here's a recent picture. Of <laughs> look at that picture. Look at that picture. Look at that nip. Uh, look at that she's nip. So. At that's home. Gonna, banned from YouTube. That's yeah. so much nip. Look at that. So at home on Wes's chest. That yeah, is I a mean. lot to look at, isn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah, but I, I understand. It's adorable, though. Yeah, very cute. Um, <laughs> she curls right up next to me, and we take naps, and it's 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 lovely, right? And sometimes, yeah. you know, as you can see, her butt gets kind of close to my face. You know, yeah. Like, fart, does yeah. she fart on you? She hasn't farted on me yet. Um, luckily, there's been no accidents, but. You know, it, the possibility is there. Um, however, a little, little pee on the neck. Not yet. Or, yeah. Not yet. Um, well, that's however, good. I'm glad it, glad it hasn't happened. Doorbell right, rings. Too. and psst, yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, but, you know, for Amanda, um, she had to learn the hard way that when an ass of a dog is near your face, you need to have your head on a swivel. Um, like Mark said, dog farts are bad enough. But if the dog gets a stomach bug and develops explosive diarrhea, things can get real bad real quick. Um, here's a quote from Amanda. I was having my afternoon nap with Belle, like I always do, when I suddenly felt something squirt in my mouth. Oh, my God. I rushed to the bathroom, <laughs> and my son was in the shower. So before I washed it out, I had time to take a quick snap, and that's the snap you see behind Shut the me. fuck up. God. Yes, so and there disgusting. it is. What? She Here's stopped. She took a picture. picture. She took a picture of it. I can't she believe she took a picture. She stopped before cleaning the shit off of her fucking mouth diarrhea. to take a picture. Take diarrhea yeah. off her face. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty disgusting, right? And we would have believed what? you. We would have believed you, lady. Just get it. Yeah. Yep. Um, Jupiter is on one. Jupiter's on <laughs> one. Yeah. Uh, she said she couldn't get the taste out of her mouth for hours after hurling violently just over the course of just hours. So probably would have um, been less hurling and she spent, you know, 15 seconds cleaning off her face. Right. Had right. she not done the shit mouth selfie. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. she then looked at. <laughs> I mean, can you fucking imagine? Oh, is that good enough? <laughs> yeah, she, she, she's British, right, Wes? Yeah, she's British, yeah, Wales, I believe. Yeah. Um, so, extra things British. get worse, though, guys. Things get worse for Amanda. <laughs> the so, most fe the yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 fearing, uh, fearing little Belle might be really sick, her daughter took her to the vet. She was diagnosed with a stomach bug, gave her some antibiotics. But later that day, after hours of rinsing and washing her mouth out, Amanda started to feel a little ill. She got some cramps in the old belly. And yeah, she uh, she called an ambulance. It got so bad. So the ambulance came, gave yeah, her some medicine. She swallowed dog diarrhea. Yeah, she swallowed yeah. dog shit. Um, and eventually, uh, the cramps got so bad, they had to take her off in an ambulance and admit her to the hospital on an IV drip because that chihuahua shat in her mouth and gave her um, a gastrointestinal infection, uh, the same one the dog had. By She passed it on by shitting what? in her mouth. Like yep. worms? Yeah, pretty much, Will. Like, pretty much just like worms. <laughs> yeah, like a parasite. That's one uh, that's never going to reach pandemic stage. If it has to be diarrhea into someone's mouth, you, you'd hope right. it stops. At, at Amanda. Difficult right. spreading mechanisms. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, the doctor's like, how the hell did this even get to you? Okay. <laughs> this is on Amanda, though. Yeah, it is. If, if you sleep with a dog that could Literally, shit in your mouth, it. you need to have that thing updated. You, yeah. you, you can't have it with, with, a, with a lingering uh, worms in its stomach. No, well, I, I think no. it was, you know how, you know how when dogs get sick, it's like, a, it's like, you never know it's coming. And all of a sudden they're just like, they're panicking. It was like a flash sickness. Yeah. It was, it was, a, it was like, she a, got a, it too. Flash. Yeah. Flash shit. So, and then after, after a few hours of flash in my face, you're, you're out, you're out of the family. Yeah. I mean, I could never, you're I could never cuddle up next to you again. I'd be traumatized. Um, oh so gosh. to make matters worse, she was, she was on an IV drip for three days and she says that she also suffers from Crohn's disease. Um, so her kidneys were half the size they were supposed to be from all the shitting that she was doing. Not, not only from the Crohn's disease, her but on top had a hard of the, time processing the, the, yeah. do the dog uh, gastro mm -hmm. infection yeah. worm thing. Yeah. 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 So is it possible this has happened before and this is the source of her Crohn's disease and she just didn't know it until now when she woke up for one could be could yeah. be. Yeah, um, right. but the dog is normally much more discreet, right? It sounds like the taste was pretty bad. It's basically when she wakes up, there's a <laughs> suction noise of the dog's asshole and she moves her lips. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's pretty terrible. Um, Humans can contract several diseases from dogs in addition to gastroenteritis, uh, ringworm, salmonella, uh, bruca, bru brucellosis, among others. Just don't, you know, don't swallow your dog's shit. You'll be OK. Um, but they're, yeah. they're both doing OK now. Uh, she's out of the hospital. Belle is fine. Don't worry. And then she Amanda's, accepted Belle back. OK. Yeah, of course. I mean, look at that. Yeah, she can't. It's a she's, cute dog. She loves Belle. I, I, I would take I would take the animal back, too. And 
related to this. I would shit on the animal, I think, then at least. No, because it's revenge. It's true. That, I mean, but it's your dog. You know, you're like. You take a dump on the dog. It's like, hard not to squeeze. <laughs> wasn't great, was it, Bell? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> give her a one so, chip. Yeah. Give her a one chip. <laughs> yeah. Give her a one chip for yeah. sure. So, so related to this, there's bird flu going around in Reno right now. And mm-hmm. Mike has been Mike the cat. Uh, mm. uh, he has been on a bird killing tear. And he's bringing him inside the house. Oh, so I've yeah. had to I've had to now like block oh, him no. out. Like uh, if he's if he's out like roaming and I could see he's hunting, I have to like block him because he's bringing bird flu birds inside. The house. <laughs> oh, <Wow>. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, not great. Um, other he's animal an news. He's an efficient hunter. You yeah, he, the Mike, Mike's Big always boy. bringing home birds. It sounds like it's um, still bulky. Two in the last week. Yeah. Yeah. Last week, Jeez. has he still been fucking with uh, another animal that gets a shoulder? Is that over with? Oh, yeah. No, it's over with. Nice. So, it, what if it was that fucking raven? Yeah, now I don't feel been. bad about throwing shit at it. It could have been. <laughs> could have been. Um, quick animal one. This one was made in that international news. Uh, guys, every now and again, no matter how you know how many Wawas get ransacked or how many murders there are in Chicago, how high gas prices are, America is still the greatest country in the world. That's and right. At least we got least hot dog. Yeah. Picasso hot dogs, yes. exactly. That's oh, our queen, um, baby. <laughs> hey, at least we don't have to worry about getting attacked by leopards while we sleep, um, God, like yeah. they do in India. And um, this made international news because a leopard uh, killed um, nearly two people, severely injured uh, the wife, but uh, mauled to death a man in Gujarat State, Western India. Um, they were both asleep in an abandoned hospital. And a lot of times these leopards, um, you know, they, they they come into these villages. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this video I'm going to play for you. Did you say they were asleep in an abandoned hospital? Yeah. They're, listen, things aren't going too great in India right now okay. for a lot of people. Um, that was definitely like the leopard's turf. He was like, what are you doing oh, here? Yeah. Well, Absolutely. it was like it's shared yeah. turf between yeah. leopards and yeah. homeless people. Right. right. It's like uh, it's like I am legend over there right now. Yeah. Anyway. Well, and they have, and I think big cats too, like tigers as well. Haven't they had like, cause like environmental programs have been increasing the numbers, but then yeah. these things are now like, because cities are getting bigger, like absolutely they, they run into people more often. It's our right. fault. We ain't, we're encroaching on their habitat. That's what I'm and, saying. That, and that abandoned is, hospital used to be just, they would peruse. And now there's like people sleeping there and he's like, I'm going to eat right. you now. Yeah. Right, but they these 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 leopards over there, they they That'd come into bad, villages all the time. Man. And this is like the most exciting thing that that you could possibly ever be involved in is is um getting a leopard out of your village. Check this out. There's just Whoa. like hundreds of people. <laughs> Dude, it's um, so badass. Oh yeah, it's, like, they're it's just, like the running of the bulls. It is. All it, these it, it, dudes are trying to get a yeah, leopard yeah. off the fucking building. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, there's you if you search leopard uh oh, in man. Indian village, you can find a lot of videos. They're trying so, yeah. to kill it, right? Oh, yeah. Well, they're trying to trap it. They're and trying to chase it, it out. Yeah, yeah they yeah. chase it. Try, and then they it. prefer to kill it, but if they right. can, just get it out, right? Yeah, and it like gets cornered, and then it eventually comes back out. And I mean, people get fucked up with these leopards. Oh, yeah. Just, a leopard I mean, it's, will fuck you up. Yeah, they a leopard you up. swipe to the face, and you're you're going to need yeah. some staples. Yeah. Some stitches. Big cat um, would be the worst thing to like to try to try to square up to it as a they're human all yeah. muscle they can jump like 20 feet <laughs> oh, they're yeah, all muscle monster. and claws yeah it's kidding? a killing machine i think it drag yeah. you off by your throat yeah yeah um okay one more real quick uh we got to do an update guys as will mentioned in the beginning magnus carlson mm. the butt plug scandal that has shocked the chess world and frankly the world um our video on can instagram you get the, can you get the picture of the diarrhea lady off oh yes yeah, sorry it's this, it's so disgusting. <laughs> You've been looking at it. It's oh hard. yeah, I've been looking at the whole show. So, I've, I, I, I know what it is. It's worse, huh? Yeah, uh, it's much worse once yeah. you know what it is. It's not I mean, how did she cream. take the time to take a selfie without <laughs> wiping it off? I just don't. <laughs> It's insane. How dirty she's the dirtiest woman in the world. Yeah, yeah. no wonder she's got some gastro problems. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as you remember, um. Magnus Carlsen was yes. playing this young phenom, Hans Niemann, in this big chess tournament in St. Louis. Hans, um, nineteen-year-old American, right? Nineteen-year-old, yeah, but he's yeah, but he's got like mm. some some kind of he's in, lives in San Francisco, I think, but he's got he's definitely sure. not dual American. citizen for yeah, sure, yeah, dual citizen for yeah. sure. Yeah. Anyway, um, our video on Instagram has over six million views explaining Hell this yeah. butt plug incident. Probably one of the biggest spreaders of this of this myth theory, and That's finally. Um, Good. 
after this came out, after, so after the butt plug uh, scandal it's happened, they played again <laughs> online and Magnus quit after just one move. That was his his right. um, his statement. Like, I'm not going to play this guy because, as everyone has suspected, Magnus thinks he's a cheater. Finally, everyone's like, Magnus, we need to hear from you, Lord Magnus. You know, we need to yeah. figure out what's going on, Lord Magnus. Tell us. Tell Magnus, us the truth, Magnus. 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 How yeah. many anal beads did he have in, Magnus? Do you want us to kill him? <laughs> so finally, Magnus tweeted this, I guess, today, um, and he broke his silence. He says, Dear Chess World, at the 2022 Sing Sigfield Cup, I made the unprecedented professional decision to withdraw from the tournament <laughs> after my round three game against Hans Niemann. A week later, during the Champions Chess Tour, I resigned against Hans Niemann after playing only one move. I mean, just incredible stuff. I know that my actions have frustrated many in the chess community. I'm frustrated. I want to play chess. I want to continue to play chess. I want chess to play a guy with anal beads across yeah. the table. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I believe. Then he gets into. Then he gets into it. I believe that cheating in chess is a big deal and an existential mm. threat to the game. I also believe that chess organizers and those who care about the sanctity of the game we love should seriously consider increasing security measures and methods of cheat of cheat detection. Uh, He's to calling Hans a cheater. <laughs> He's calling him a cheater, right? He's calling yeah. him a cheater, but what? But what he what he wants what he eventually says is that's basically saying he put he had anal beads because how else could he have done it? How else could right. he have done it? He's, well, he, he's he's confirming the anal beads theory. He's also being a big bitch because he he thinks there's no way that this kid could have beat him fair and square. That's basically yeah. what it's he's like. It's, like, it's got to be the anal beads. It's got to be the anal beads. That's um, a lot of it. Yeah, um, we must do. Something I think maybe this cheating. guy is so smart, he's lost, he's driven himself crazy. What did he yes. say about what? What was the two sentences about the how quickly he rose and with the black pieces and that? Exactly. No, yeah, so yeah, he, he says. Yeah. He says, um, "I believe that Neiman has cheated more and more recently than he has publicly admitted. His over-the-board progress has been unusual, and throughout our game in the Sigfield Cup." I had the impression that he wasn't tense or even fully concentrating on the game in critical he even positions. Need to concentrate. <laughs> yeah, like against me. How could you not con yeah. concentrate against me? He's so um, mad at this kid. Yeah. yeah, his accusation just basically is is it's the most pompous thing. Yeah, he's yeah. like, this kid's not as smart as me. There's no way right. he could beat me. He, he 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 would have to concentrate harder than I was concentrating. Exactly. He, he said, goes he on. Was, he said he was using the black pieces, which right. are obviously the harder pieces. He says yeah. he was out so playing in, in black him. in a way that only a handful of players can do. Yeah, uh, yeah. only a couple people <laughs> could even attempt to not right. concentrate against Mag. Well, the great Mag. <laughs> so yeah. he's now he's setting up a thing where he has to play him. Uh, well, yeah. Well, he's got to play up naked. Oh, there are. <laughs> there's obviously some legal they stuff have to play naked now. They yeah. must. They must. There's obviously some legal. This is stuff like going Tyson on. Fury. Like if, yeah. if the, like Tyson Fury talks so much shit about Usyk, right? Mm -hmm. if, if if Tyson Fury doesn't fight Usyk now, he's the one who's being a bitch and withdrawing, right? Yeah. It's, because he's because Magnus is talking so much shit yeah. about the person he claims he could just crush in his sleep. If yeah. he doesn't play him mano a mano now, he's He's definitely the loser. And he has will, uh, you know, played a mano mano and quit both times. Right. So like wh what stipulations does he need to think that the guy can't be sneaking in electronic yeah. devices at that point? Is he going to play him or is he just never going to play this guy because he's a bitch? No, he if he doesn't play him ever again, he's the biggest bitch yeah. in the world, yes. let alone the chess mm -hmm. world. Yeah. And it's I would pay a pay-per-view, even though I would have no idea what's going on to watch well, it. Um, here's here's Hans explaining, yes, absolutely. <laughs> explaining the whole thing. And this makes just. I mean, sense. if this is pay-per-view salesmanship, it's incredible. And I yeah. hope it is. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Well, Hans, Hans came ass. out with a tweet and was like, hey, if there's any evidence, fucking show it, bitch. Um, you've yeah, ignored yes. the interview. I'm tr you're trying to sweep everything in the rug. He's talking about this guy that's like probably getting this Hans on the show, man. I've, I've reached out to him on all of his all of his Magnus is things. not going to come on because he's no, a little Magnus bitch. Is a but bitch. Hans might. I fucking hate Magnus. Yeah. Um, OK, come on, here's, Hans, come on the show. Here's come Hans explaining, show, Hans. explaining. Hey, everybody, let Hans everything. know he needs to come on. To talk everyone to at Hans. What's his handle? Everyone at Hans. What show? Yeah, Hans and even pop that up again. We don't care about Magnus. I don't want Magnus on our show. Yeah, Hans, Hans, Hans Moki Neiman, Hans M O K E Neiman N I E M A N N. That's yeah, right. everyone add him and tell him to come on Hard Factor. Yeah, yeah. We want him to talk shit about Magnus. That's right. Uh, before yeah. we close, I just want to sh uh, play the clip of Mag or Hans explaining how he beat Hans, and it makes perfect sense to me. How he beat Magnus? Yeah. I mean Magnus. Yeah. 
Hmm. Hans seemed like a tough position. You came up with this interesting idea we hadn't seen before with C5. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, uh, first of all, this bishop b3 move uh, yes. is slightly. Uh, it's not the main line. The, mo the main line is actually knight of one. Yeah, knight of one. And okay. uh, I had some ideas there, which I thought would be a nice surprise. And uh, so that that was my main point. Um, but bishop b3 is sort of the uh, stopping knight g6 because then there's d4. So the, so the point of behind knight e7 is that you can't play d4 because of knight c6. There you go. Sounds, there you sounds have like sounds you knew what he was talking about. Shit, yeah. Right, yeah. I mean, you what, is someone vibrating that, anal beads in, during that interview? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Listen, the, the kid's a phenom. Regardless, yeah. he's a grandmaster, and Magnus is the biggest bitch in any, in any organized event ever right now. It's um, pathetic. It's yeah. embarrassing what's, what Magnus is doing out there. And, and and there's there's legal stuff going on because the last thing Magnus says is I'd like to say more. Unfortunately, at this time, I am limited to what I can say without explicit permission from from Neiman to speak openly. Here's what so, happened. Yeah. I know I know what happened. So mm -hmm. Magnus used to be this kid, right? He was the he's only 33. Mm -hmm. He's been the best for like over a decade. He's when a he, god. When he was 19, he was as good as this Hans kid, right? He was winning world championships. Everyone said he's the now the best player to ever play chess. He's you know he's better than uh, Bobby Fischer, whoever mm -hmm. the Russians, mm -hmm. uh, and this kid Hans did admittedly cheat online, like not in professional tournaments, just like like win money off of, like hustle people mm -hmm. before right. he became a pro. So. Uh, this Magnus guy sat down with Hans. He sees that this kid can beat him without even trying at the age of 19. He's way better than him. And he's like, this is going to tarnish my legacy. I have to just say he's still cheating. He's a cheater. But so he's trying he's to set to, something he's trying, up. He's trying to tarnish this kid and get him blacklisted before he can even get his career off and running because he knows he's outmatched. It's Magnus not going to work, outmatched though. outmatched by Hans. It's no, not going to work. not work. He's trying. It will not work. It will People not work. People are going to turn on Magnus unless he plays this kid fair and square. He's going to lose. He better he play him soon. He can't. Yeah. He can't play this kid. He's going to lose. I know. He's in no, his it's head. Just a, yeah. Hey, it's the same thing in boxing with the Gypsy King, man. Yeah. I, I for sure thought he was the best heavyweight until I watched that last Usyk fight. Now he's got to come out and prove it, just like Magnus has to prove it against Hans. Yeah. yeah. So best of, best of five, best of five series, whatever the fuck. Show well, up or care. shut up, Magnus. Butts right. out. Do right. it. Do it, Magnus and Hans. Real bad right now, Magnus. Yeah, just right. just just do like a wand on his butt, like an electronic wand. You think we're doing easy? Magnus yeah. thinks that that there's he's got some he invented some he new knows, technology. He knows he knows he's not cheating and he knows he can't beat him. Is my exactly. What I think. Yeah, I, I like agree with you, Mark. Yeah, I like the theory. Yeah, let's pull the wheel up. All right, All right here we go. Oh wait, no, no wait, we don't. Will's, no, we don't need a wheel because Will's coffee. Wes, right? cup yeah. of coffee. No, no, no. I'm oh, doing that on Wednesday. No, no, you're doing it tomorrow. Wes. Can we record? Um, no, no, no. Oh, okay. So yeah, I, I was I was going to take the recording yeah, yeah, on no. Wednesday to be harder. Ooh, okay. Ooh. No, no need. Okay, no need. that's cool. Wes, yeah. we'll right. bring you the Wes cup of coffee, coffee big tomorrow. time tomorrow. Love it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Sounds good. There you go. No spin needed. You guys want to spin about something else? or? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's spin I the Monday do. night game. Let's Yeah, let's spin the Monday night game. Even though All right. Was, uh, yeah, look up the score, Mark. Make, make sure that it's not uh, okay. already blown out. Blown out. <laughs> so we got Giants. Fuck it. And we got Cowboys. Uh, kickoff is uh, in 30 seconds, so I think it's good. Okay. Yeah. Spinning. Perfect. Giants, Cowboys. Ooh, the wheel Giants. likes the G-Men. Yeah. So the does, wheel likes so the I. G-Men. It's like a one-point spread, so yeah, yeah. That's, a even, that's an even. That's a good one. Uh, also, uh, so the, the wheel, uh, you won't hear that in time to, to bet on it, but you'll, yeah. you'll know if the wheel got it right. Also, I watched that dart thing live um, while we were taping here. Uh, you guys nailed it. Uh, it looked like it worked, right? But how could you ever possibly tell on an asteroid that's 6.5 million miles away? And they just showed the thing like going to the surface of the asteroid. So it made it to it. <laughs> but then it's like, did, well, did success. it do the thing? Success. Right. Did, success. Cool. Yeah. And then everybody, it was like a big like, woo. <laughs> and then it's just like, yeah, okay, I guess. It and then and they think the camera shuts off, and they're like, that will shut them up. Yeah. Literally, the camera shuts off grants. right after that work. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get us some of that cheese. I'll get us some grants, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that ought to get us the grant, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just landed on a fucking asteroid. How you yeah, like that? Push the asteroid off course. <laughs> Try to tell me no to a grant now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I grant. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to do it. Uh, we'll be back with you tomorrow. We hope you join us and we love you. 
and have a great fucking day.